Once you've built your application, then the question is how do I secure it? That's not the best question to ask at this point because you were supposed to secure it during development. But let's assume that the damage is done, that you've already built your application and now you want to test it somehow. And how do you go about it? So we have a couple of concepts, but the most important ones that I guess you are likely to expose yourself in the next couple of months are things such as penetration testing, uh, vulnerability assessments and bug bounties. So let me start with saying that bug bounty programs have immense value for all businesses, but this isn't the thing that you should go after as a first security engagement. This is something for security mature companies that created a lot of stuff internally, that conducted a lot of penetration tests, security tests, uh, have internal security teams, then they can outsource the security testing to bug bounty platforms. But beyond that, and going step backwards, when you have the application ready, you shouldn't also jump on penetration tests. Penetration tests are usually type of activity that takes a lot of time, and if it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of money, and you hire external penetration testers who receive your application and test your application like hackers would, let's say. So it takes a lot of time, depending on the size of application, it usually starts about one man day up to a couple of days. Sometimes it may go even uh, into weeks of work. So as you may imagine, a couple of days of work, someone who is specializing in uh, penetration testing will be expensive. So when you have built your application and you want to verify the basics of basics and to see what are the holes in your application, you should rather go with something that we call vulnerability assessment. So it's not penetration testing per se, but it's often done by penetration testers. So you have this knowledge base, you have those people with huge know-how, you have those people who know how to conduct penetration tests, but you don't want to have them spend a lot of time on sophisticated penetration tests because probably you uh, wouldn't be able to handle them anyways uh, if this is your first initiative with security. And those penetration testers will have the knowledge, they have the know-how, they know how penetration tests are performed, but now you ask them to perform vulnerability assessments. It may be a different team, it may be the same team. In Test Army we have penetration testers, um, professional penetration testers also performing vulnerability assessment to give this additional value to our customer. So when they perform vulnerability assessment, they usually run a lot of automated tools to see what are the main issues in your application. So they test for vulnerabilities such as cross-site scripting attacks, they test for SQL injections, remote code executions, um, HTTP uh, headers, misconfigurations, a bunch of other issues related to authorization and authentication. They also dig into application and perform um, security assessment of the application, trying to find as many vulnerabilities as they can to then, to then later compile them into one document. And instead of providing you only the list of vulnerabilities that have been identified, they also point you the direction you should follow in order to keep your applications more secure. So if we find a lot of cross-site scripting vulnerabilities, and automated tools found a lot of cross-site scripting vulnerabilities, we are going to instruct you how you can prevent those from happening uh, again in the future. Because if you have many security flaws from different categories, such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, uh, local file inclusion, those vulnerabilities that happen, uh, and that's fine, we just let you know what, what happened, and if those vulnerabilities have been identified on an individual basis, you fix them, everything is fine. However, if we notice that the most common vulnerability in your application are SQL injection vulnerabilities, then it means something is a bit off in your software development processes, and we are going to help you uh, figure it out and build a framework that's going to prevent those issues from happening in the first place. So vulnerability assessment is something you should go after if, if it's your first security engagement. This is something that's not going to cost you a lot. This will be something done by sophisticated security professionals, uh, professionals who know how penetration tests are run, how to secure organizations. Uh, but to save time, they will use a lot of automated tools, but not only that, they also perform some uh, manual testing 
security assessment and also obviously they will verify those issues are identified by automated systems to make sure we are not wasting your time with false positives. So there is a bunch of things you can do to secure organization. One of the most important ones obviously is making sure that your software development practices are fine and in place and we can help you with that. However, don't go after a penetration test if you haven't done vulnerability assessment before uh, because it may it usually results in a waste of money and time and a lot of friction when we drop a lot of uh, bugs on your head. So my advice to you is go after vulnerability assessment, do it a couple of times, reiterate until there are no issues identified by automated systems and basic security checkups, then go after a penetration test and only then, maybe after a year or two or a couple of years, depending on how fast you move in your software engineering organization, then try out bug bounties. But the most cost-effective way in my experience is going after vulnerability assessments, penetration tests, bug bounties, and doing a lot of stuff in the meantime. But buying vulnerability assessment services and penetration testing services will also help you to improve your internal processes because we are not here just to point out mistakes but also to guide you through the process of fixing them. I guess that's it for today. Uh, thank you for your attention. I appreciate that. In the next video, I'm going to help you with a list of steps that you should follow in order to maximize the outcome of penetration tests, bug outages, vulnerability assessments. So whatever you decide to choose, I will give you a list of items that you should implement in your collaboration between external companies to make sure that you get the highest return of investment possible. So that's it. Stay tuned for more content. And in case of any questions, you can always reach us out via YouTube comments.